Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Wi-Fi battle. Today we have a rematch against Sarah from battle number 8. This is my longtime girlfriend who's made many appearances on the channel before, back on Sun and Moon. And as you can see, she has another very cool team. So it's definitely going to be another good match, and we're going to get into it. So, looking at her team, I really wasn't sure what she was going to want to lead with, so I just decided to lead with my Zoro arc disguised as Pinsir, as she actually decides to lead with the Malamar. So, of course, turn one, she is going to go for a switch, thinking that I do have Pinsir out, doesn't want to get taken out with a bug move, so she is going to come in with the Noivern predicting that, but of course I am not actually Pinsir, I'm Zoro Arc, so I'm going to go for a Dark Pulse, which is going to drop her a little below half, which was nice. So this turn, she is going to outspeed me and go straight for a Draco Meteor. So that is going to drop me all the way down to my Focus Sash, but I do survive because of it. It is going to also harshly lower her special attack and, of course, uh, break my illusion, but that's okay. I am just going to go for another Dark Pulse, which is going to be enough to finish off the Noivern and drop her down to five Pokemon. So then she is going to come in with the Mimikyu. And she is just going to go straight for a Shadow Sneak here. I decided to stay in just in case she wanted to start setting Swords Dances, but she just goes for the attack instead, which is going to be more than enough to finish off my Zoro Arc, dropping me down to five Pokemon as well. So then I'm going to come in with my Seismitoad, and this turn she actually is going to go for the Swords Dance, which is going to give her a sharp attack increase, uh, trying to set up for a potential sweep. I am going to go for the Earthquake here. Uh, and unfortunately, all that is going to do is just break the uh, decoy. But it did serve its purpose, since she did get the free Swords Dance off of it. So this turn, she is going to go on the offense with a play rough. And unfortunately for me, that is going to be enough to one-shot kill my Seismitoad, dropping me down to four Pokemon. So that is not good at all. And she is going to take more damage from the Life Orb. So then I'm going to come in with my Metagross. I am max physical defense, so I figure if anything can take a hit from this thing, it is Metagross. So she is going to go for a Shadow Sneak here. Luckily for me, I do survive that with about a quarter of my health, and I am going to go for a Bullet Punch in return, which is going to be enough to finish off the Mimikyu, thankfully, dropping her down to four Pokemon, and I am just barely going to survive my Life Orb damage there with 21 health. So... Here she is going to come back in with the Malamar, and she actually outspeeds me here, which was a bit of a surprise. That's why I didn't go for the Bullet Punch. So she hits me up with a Super Power, actually gets a crit, which did not matter, uh, which is going to take out my Metagross, dropping me to three Pokemon, but more importantly, giving her an attack and defense increase via her contrary ability. So then I'm going to come in with my Pinsir for real this time, which is going to force her to switch. She doesn't want to get taken out with a bug attack. So she is going to come in with the Magnezone, predicting that as I do go for the x Scissor. So not going to do much of anything there. And then she is going to regain some health with the Leftovers. So I am Choice Scarf, uh, locked into the x Scissor here, so I have to switch out. I am going to switch into my Rotom Heat. Uh, thinking I am fit to handle any attack she throws at me. She does go for the Thunderbolt, which is only going to take me down by about a quarter, uh, but then she is going to regain more health with the Leftovers. So, then she is going to go for the Switch this turn. Probably doesn't have any good moves for me on the Magnezone, so she is going to come in with the Blastoise, as I do go for a Thunderbolt straight away, predicting a Switch, so that is going to take her into the red, but she does survive that. So this turn I am actually going to go for a switch. I don't want to take an attack with uh, Rotom since it is pretty useful for the rest of her team here. So I'm going to switch directly into my Sylveon as she does go for the Mega Evolution into Mega Blastoise. And she is uh, just going to go straight for a Water Pulse. It is powered up by the Mega Launcher ability, of course, but even so, only going to do about a quarter damage to me. I am max special defense with an Assault Vest. So this turn, she's going to outspeed me, go for it again, actually get a crit this time and knock me um, a little below half, uh, but I am going to in turn fire off a Moon Blast, which is going to be enough to finish off the Blastoise, dropping her to three Pokemon. So then she is going to come back in with the Magnezone, 
and I do outspeed this thing, which was nice, so I am just going to go for a Shadow Ball, which is uh, not going to do a whole lot of damage, unfortunately. Uh, she is in turn going to fire off a Flash Cannon on me, and uh, actually she does get another crit here. I'm not sure if that mattered or not, um, but that is going to be enough to take out my Sylveon, dropping me down to just two Pokemon. So uh, Sylveon really got the uh, short end of the uh, critical hit stick there. So um, here I am going to come back in with my pincer, and that is going to force her to switch out yet again. She is going to switch into her two cannon this time, as I actually do go for the earthquake, so uh, she does get the free switch, not going to do anything there. And again, I am choice scarf, so I have no choice but to switch out this turn back into my Rotom as uh, she actually decides that it is time to bust out the Z-move, which is, of course, going to be the flying Z-move, which is, of course, the supersonic Sky Strike. So she is going to hit me up with that. And uh, luckily for me, I do survive that with about a quarter of my health. I do resist that. So um, this turn, I do outspeed her, and I decide that it is time to return the Z-move favor in the form of uh, busting out my own Z-move, which is going to be the Fire Z-move, the Inferno Overdrive. So this is off of Overheat, obviously, so this is going to do uh, massive damage to anything she decided to leave in. So that is going to be enough to one-shot kill the two cannon, fortunately, which is going to drop her down to two Pokemon. So then she is going to come back in with the Malamar, and I am going to go for the switch here, uh, predicting the superpower on her side. I don't want to uh, take one of those with the Rotom, so I am going to come back in with the Pinsir, as she does go for the superpower. So that's not going to do much of any damage to me, but it is going to raise both her attack and defense stats via the contrary ability yet again. So here I am actually going to go for a close combat, just in case she decided to switch out into the uh, Magna Zone, but she actually stays in there, and because of the defense increase, she's able to take that very well. That only did about a third damage to her, and uh, she is going to fire off a Rock Slide in return, which did catch me a little by surprise. That is going to, unfortunately, be the end of my pincer, dropping me down to just one Pokemon. So finally, I'm going to come back in with my Rotom, and I am going to outspeed this thing, so I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt, trying to take this thing out. Um, but unfortunately, she does survive that in the red, and she is going to go ahead and activate the Figgy Berry to um, give her most of her health back. Just go for one more Rock Slide, and that is going to be more than enough to finish off my Rotom. And that is game. So uh, I did end up losing this one 2-0. To Sarah, but it was a very good match. Um, she did make a lot of great predictions in that match that uh, just ended up uh, getting the better of me on this one, but a uh, very good match nonetheless. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, and stay tuned for more new battles in the future. Also, this is actually going to be the last battle that I post with this team. I had a lot of fun using it, and it was very successful, but uh, as always, try and keep things uh, fresh and interesting on the channel. I am going to be putting this team to the side for now, so I will have a brand new team for you guys starting next time. So that's it, and we'll see you next time.